So I've been working on the flaps um, for the back of my Ironman. Um, I had initially had a setup before, but I wasn't really happy with it. I'm not happy with the servos. Um, or, yeah, with how I was doing it. So I've decided to sort of get new servos, and which I'm waiting on, and put a little rail system on the flap um, to make the travel up and down a bit um, easier. Yeah. But I can show you, um, just let me take this, I've got it here, at the moment I'm just, I've just got one, one flap hooked up, um, on these digital servos, well these servos that I'm using, these servos that I'm using are, are modded, I've modded them, they're 60 degree servos so i've modded them with resistors to make them travel through 180 as close to 180 um which is what i need for these flaps to open and close enough um but as i say i'm not happy with the, these ones so i've just ordered some 180 degree servos and when i get those i'll stick them in and yeah just adjust it at the moment i'm running off a servo tester but i do have with the uh, spark fun spectacle um, servo motion board um, which will finally uh, eventually be put in um, to make all four flaps go through a series of motions um, but yeah so this is basically we've only got one flap happening at the moment which is this one which you can see open and closes and you can hear that hum the rattle sort of off the, the digital servo which is a bit of an annoying thing with those but yeah but you can see here i've got the little aluminium arm connected to the servo inside and this is running along a little rail i've got a little teflon tube over the top of a screw to um yeah just help it sort of glide along easier but yeah, yeah so. You can see I just open and close. Yeah, but it works pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with that. So it should look good when all four are running on a program. Um, so I'll give you a look at the servo. So as you can see here, this is just a 9G servo. Um, which I've got some resistors wired into it. Um, I couldn't get any smaller resistors because um, you're meant to put them inside the servo, but these things were huge. So it'll do for now anyway. Um, but as I say, I've got new ones coming. And I'll show you how it works. Just opens, and closes. So yeah. And that's basically how they're all going to work. I've made these little housings up, just 3D printed these little housings so I can quickly get the servos out because yeah, they tend to, these cheapy ones tend to get stuck. But yeah. But, yep. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. I've got lots of things going on with the iron on sitting here. But I've already got the my forearm cannons all wired up if you've seen previous videos. They've got servos in them, they've got little Adreno Arduino Unos in there to make them work. So yeah, and all of this stuff, you know, have to have lights in here. But yeah. So it's all happening. Oh also, so I'll go right here into the darkness into my other part of the, my garage and you can see I've got the torso moulded with silicone, one side of it anyway waiting on fibreglass coming so that's the torso section of the Iron Man I'm going to cast that in fibreglass initially I was going to cast it in urethane but pain on the ass to colour match so we'll just see what happens this is the neck um, again, waiting for fiberglass, silicone mold. This is a 
the arm section this is a sleeve for underneath the, the, the actual armor will go on top of this. This is actually makes the arm look underneath more mechanical. So yeah. But I'll show you that whenever I actually get it cast. So but that one, the arm and the neck is gonna be cast in urethane. Um because they're smaller parts. Um yeah, it's cheaper than casting the whole tower so in urethane. So yeah. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Okay.